Scorpio, my darlings, how are you doing? I hope everybody is awesome. I am here to bring you another tarot reading, God Angels Universe. Hey, y'all. Please bless Scorpio with whatever information they need to get them by God. You know it's a hard road for my Scorpio Nation. So if you don't mind, if we are so kind and humble and blessed for you to bless us with an amazing message, man, that would be awesome. Thank you, God. We love you. Here we go. Oh, child. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. Whew. Okay, I had to hold her up. That's attraction and magnetism. I don't know in what aspect. Let's keep going. Two of Swords. Blocking. Denial. Ace of Swords. The universe is like, you gonna see this truth. <laughs> Ooh, child. Mm. The Devil. Knight of Swords, Conversations, Four of Swords, Sword, 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 Scorpio, what's going on? You in your air energy? You in your head? Great. Cups, the confusing cups. Five of Cups, Disappointment. Ten of Swords. Okay, I feel like you're frustrated um, for some of you, you're frustrated because you cannot communicate something or you feel like your message is not getting across to someone else. Um, I'm also hearing two of swords, knight of swords. It kind of feels like maybe some of you feel censored, right? Queen of wands next to the two of swords is, is you feel limited, right? You feel like I have all this passion. I have all this fabulousness, but I'm limited. I feel like your fear is what's blocking you. Um, the Seven of Cups, emotional confusion, delusion. So are you spending a lot of time making shit up in your head that's activating you to be sad or disappointed and feeling down and out? You know what? This is a big, disgusting way of saying, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're pissed off because you're stuck. You feel stuck. You feel stabbed in the back. Some past shit is bubbling up again. That to me kind of says some of you could have been emotionally triggered. Seven of Cups is like, listen, I don't know which emotion I want to deal with today. I started out as being angry. Then I tried to work it out. Then I got scared. Now I'm just confused and I'm gravitating towards being hurt. So Scorpio, you are feeling all of the emotions now i do have the hand of god here god angels universe divine spirit whatever you refer to it as the lord is trying to bring you clarity but i feel like for some of you you could have tunnel vision on negativity so it's almost like you're overly focused on negative god is trying to bring you clarity it's like no scorpio is going to be okay you're like but it hurt okay <laughs> all right all right so four swords is taking a time out it's like look i am mentally done i'm mentally spun i'm overwhelmed i don't know what to do um angels just showed me suffocating some of you feel passionately suffocating suffocated queen of wands represents attraction and magnetism right and creativity and enthusiasm and it's almost like following your heart okay but i know that's the queen of wands but follow as in maybe take the road less traveled and yeah let's go do this but i just kind of feel like right now your head is messed up your heart is messed up you got 10 swords in your back <clears throat> scorpio what, 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 what happened oh okay angel said that pesky little devil devil is addiction right devil is um 
fear, devil is toxicity. Um, Knight of Swords to me almost feels like a knee jerk reaction, right? That reflex. And I feel that reflex is your communication, right? So, oh, angels are saying you're, you're emotional and things are foggy. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're taking things the wrong way, left and right. Misinterpreting things. Hold on, now. Zeus. Hold on. Because Scorpio is as sharp as they come. I, I am not accepting that on, on behalf of my Scorpio nation. Scorpio don't get confused. Okay. Y'all are pretty clear in your sleep. So what's confusing you? Mm. So I got the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Cutmaster Flex, don't you bring your ass out here today. Okay, good. I like, I like, I like, I like. Okay, I don't like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Daydreaming. Fantasy. Oh. Okay, so we end on a good note. The chariot. Moving out of this state of mind. Okay? So... Some of you are feeling overwhelmed because either confusing emotions that you're feeling or an emotionally confusing situation. I feel like in all honesty, Scorpio, you are drained. This is limbo. This is like hanging upside down. It's also, you know, trying to, to, to see things from a different perspective, right? So if, if you were in a situation that hurt you, right? Five of Cups disappointed you left you feeling lonely, sad, depressed. Angels are like, baby, just flip right side up and you're going to see this thing from a whole new direction. Seven of cups here twice, confusion. Seven and seven is 14. One plus four is five, five of cups, right? So it's almost like the more you started to think about something, the more you tried to clarify something is the more confusing it got. I love a page of pentacles. This may be my new great card. Okay. Um, clarity when it comes to how to work together, how to, how to set goal, goals, how to achieve goals. There's a curiosity about this queen of wands. Um, page of swords is also spying, right? It's, 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 um, being shut down. It's barely speaking. It's one word answers. So I kind of feel like that minimalist type of communication is probably what set you off 10 100. Two of Swords, uh, there was also a shutdown or shut off of the flow of love. Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles is, listen, we need to come together. Let's have a kumbaya, right? We are the world and try to figure out what is the root cause of this situation. And in all honesty, it's almost like somebody's fear was running amok. I can tell you that hands down. Somebody's fear was off the chain, off the chain. But I feel like justice is going to come in. I do kind of feel like the return of love that's coming in. So it, it, it kind of feels like somebody had to get something off their chest, but every time they tried, it might've been jumbled and it left someone emotionally confused. So I was like, you know what? I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm going to go sit down, sit in this corner until I can get my thoughts and my communication, my thoughts and my words right. But I feel like when you did that, right, whether it was you or someone else, when they checked out, that just created more confusion in this situation. But behold, Scorpio, I'm using a big biblical word. Behold. Page of Pentacles. I love a Page of Pentacles. Love the Page of Pentacles. Because the Page of Pentacles is practical, is integral, right? It's a baby, you know what I mean? But the page is coming to deliver the Ace of Pentacles. It's like, here, mommy, here you go, right? In other words, that beautiful, sweet, innocent conversation that comes in to change your perspective. Hey, maybe, by the way, if you got hurt out of this situation, my Five of Cups says, it might not have even been the situation. It could have been from your past, right? In other words, you were triggered. Now, angels just also said too, well, baby, with fear running amok, of course you ain't see nothing right. 
because you had them red devil glasses on. Angels also said to me too, it was almost like because you were out of perspective, in denial, not in focus, refusing to see something, well, well, of course things were confusing and the devil is sitting there with the justice card. <laughs> My angel said, lo and behold, justice. It sounded like a damn commercial. <laughs> it was a movie trailer. Okay, so now what happens? So the chariot says, hey, now we can move on happily, right? We cleared all of this up. We helped you, Lauren, get all those 10 swords out your back. Now you can move on. Can I say here that this was miscommunication? I mean, I do have seven of cups here, which, it, which is illusion, delusion. Four of swords is, you know, being lazy, taking a time out. Page, I feel like the page of pentacles is what saved the day, right? Um, yeah, I don't give a shit about that page of swords. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I know my angels be sitting up in the ethers like somebody come get this child. Four swords. That's blocked communication. Hmm. That queen of wands just, just gave me the vibe of, of being pigheaded, being hardheaded, not wanting to hear it, not wanting to talk about it being very one-track minded, being very closed minded. Okay, thank you, angels. I love y'all. What else, Scorpio? Ooh, child, death. I love when death shows up. It's like, bum, bum, bum. Death, putting an end to the blinders. Two of Swords is almost like self-imposed restriction, right? You blocking yourself, you blocking your intuition, you blocking your heart, right? It, it, it kind of feels like limited communication between two people, right? And it's a sword. Sword is mind and logic. The Knight of Wands down here is like, where to love at? Where to love at? Okay. All right. Yeah, let's put an end to that. Come out of the cycle. Come out of that cycle, Scorpio. We have to start anew. I'm also hearing, and I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I'm also hearing get a third party opinion. I only will say that with the three of pentacles. Any other threes, I'm like, nah, B, you good. Again, pentacles are everything. Pentacles, for me as a reader, represents reality okay it rents it represents practicality right it represents impartiality how many syllables is that okay three of swords yeah somebody's fear was causing a lot of hurt and pain mm. angels just said it was also just exposed right as in again that sitting next to the ace of swords some of y'all are just figuring this out it's like, oh, shit. All right. Yeah. I did get scared. Mm, child, ace of swords twice. Y'all see all these swords on the table? Is it just me? No. There's a lot of swords on the table. Which, which you know, again, I, I keep saying it with the seven of cups. It just kind of feels like <clears throat> my angel said Mercury was running amok. How Mercury going to be running amok and it ain't even retrograde? Okay. What's going on with Mercury? Is it conjunct or square? A planet? Ooh, Ace of Wands. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands to me feels like a stroke of lightning, right? That, that different perspective that hit you like 400 bricks upside your head. The Hermit. Now somebody needs to ruminate. Mm-hmm. They need to go and think. Come on, card. Lovers. You know how I always point out that over the lovers is, this is a good card because there's the angel of light, right? Over here is the angel of darkness. You know, implying 
uh, for this example, but darkness is negative. So lovers to me feels like reunion. Look at that three of cups there. So you're moving more towards um, some sort of celebratory, happy, joyous. You're going to have some happy, joyous, celebratory outcome. And whatever this was, that Ten of Swords, man, this shit had you fucked up, Scorpio. Angels also said to me, too, from that Ten of Swords, I was looking at, I was looking at the fourth sword, this one here. And my angel said, it felt like everybody was stabbing you in the back. It felt like everybody had a problem with you. And they all came at you at the same time, Scorpio. Woo! And you got pissed off. And I would have too. I'd have been like, hold the phone. Okay. We not gonna we not mm -mm, we not doing this today. And by the way, we ain't doing it tomorrow either. Um, I also feel like the Ten of Swords, well, the Ten of Swords for me is also my victim card, right? Everything hitting you at once and betrayal and people just coming at you and you know, just just buffoonery at its best. Okay? And look that word up. It is a word, buffoonery. And it's spelled just how it sounds. And um, I feel like you kind of bottomed out. Uh, my angel said collapsed, right? But angels are saying now this differs from a tower moment. Because a tower moment uproots the foundation and it just tears everything down. This Ten of Swords, to me, Scorpio, feels like you were torn down, okay? Now, my angels just had said, you only gonna make this mistake once, okay? So it's almost like as a part of your recovery, okay? It, and angels are saying the reason why it happened is so you can, so you know the signs not to allow it to happen again. But as part of your recovery, you know, and it is a full recovery my angels just also said too this also applies to people having surgery right so you're expected to make a full recovery now if you have something terminal or something was removed you had your spleen removed yeah you'll make a full recovery but full recovery doesn't mean you're gonna get a new you know your spleen is gonna grow back you see what i'm saying um a splenectomy all right so um, it happened, so I kind of feel like it just all happened at once, and it was almost like it first gutted you emotionally, and it's almost like once your emotions bottomed out, everything else bottomed out. I don't know if y'all know this, maybe it's me and my raggedy ass Cancer Moon, but it's almost like when things start to go wrong, right? one thing after another after another i think it's just part of standard human nature to feel like well damn can anything go right it's like what's gonna happen next and and then something else and yeah look at this fuck shit right but as soon as you become emotionally hurt by it now your emotions start to lie to you well scorpio i don't even know why you try next time i think you should go sit in the corner and yeah, when that bitch said that to you, she really meant this. Your emotions become that, that negative best friend who needs to be punched in their fucking throat. Okay. And that's what I feel like happened here as part of the 10 of swords. Cause I feel like not only were you meant, did you mentally collapse, but once your emotions collapse, you were done to the done done. Okay. But the good news is you are going to make a full phenomenal recovery okay um and angels are pointing me back here with the death and the knight of cups it to me is almost like you stripped the love from a particular situation right so in other words if something was done loving lovingly unintentionally you couldn't tell because to you, it was done maliciously, right? With malice. And I really do feel there's an undertone here, an underlying message here. Baby, baby, darling, Scorpio, boo-boo. 
Be careful about jumping to conclusions because that's what the Knight of Swords is. The Knight of Swords goes in, charge! And it's like, um, do you see that brick wall headed that you're headed towards? Right? I don't give a shit about you drawing your sword. Bitch, you about to run into a brick wall. And I feel like for in this particular situation, I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is someone you were dealing with. But it was almost like they took on this shoot first, ask questions later. When they should have asked questions first and then not shoot at all. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Um, Angels pointed me back here to the Queen of Wands. I feel like that's what agitated you. I already have the Page of Swords here with the Four of Pentacles, which kind of says communication was just blocked. I really want to say communication was fucked. I really want to just say that. <sighs> I, I really do. Sidebar, if you don't like it, just fast forward. I always find it very hilariously annoying when people are like, Oh, you don't need to be cursing and true spiritual people. If people of God don't curse, fuck off. <laughs> I use language. Okay. <laughs> God created the word fuck. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. So, so yeah, I, I feel like it was almost like you threw out the baby in the bathwater. Two of Swords, the a Knight of Cups, and the Death card. So it was almost like you blocked the flow of love and then you just threw the whole situation away. But I feel like with this clarity, there's going to be some sort of, and I'm getting chills about this one, Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be like a kumbaya moment. We are the world, like I said. That's going to close out one chapter and open a new one with that world card. I feel like whatever this Scorpio, whatever this situation was, Scorpio, it was for you to take it and put it in your experience bag, right? It was just another kind of quote unquote life lesson. And angels are saying, you got your ass kicked emotionally. So I can hear a lot of you saying, well, shit, I don't want no more damn lessons like that because that sucked, right? Mm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, I don't like them Jesus lessons. I'm like, listen. I wear Jordans, no moccasins. You know, don't be asking me to walk no, walk on no coal or walk on no water, Jesus. I'm too big. I'm a sink. <laughs> right? <clears throat> but I feel like some of you had to go through this to chalk it up to experience. But I do feel like there was a lesson in here as well, again, with the Knight of Swords is, you know, like um, Don Miguel Ruiz, the Four Agreements. Speak impeccably, uh, speak impeccably with your words. Mm. Yeah. I feel like there was some sort of communication breakdown between two people and one person could have got, gotten blocked. One person could have shut down. One person got annoyed and closed minded. And I feel like once that communication broke down, the whole relationship broke down. Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. I feel like this Queen of Wands, which is Aries in the moon position. So you could be a Scorpio sun, Aries in the moon position. I also feel like you could have Capricorn rising or Capricorn. Let's just say Capricorn rising. Um, I also feel like you got sick and tired of being sick and tired. The Queen of Wands almost kind of implies to me that you were being triggered over and over and over again. And you was like, enough of this shit. <laughs> oh my God. Angels just said knee jerk reaction. Yeah. Okay. I feel like, I feel like, um, angels just said devil's playground. Somebody gave me a definition before where it's like, you know, when fear is present or, you know, negativity is present, love disappears, right? And we have the devil here with the lovers. We have the lovers here with the lovers, right? Or the angel there with the lovers. So I feel like, again, once fear took over, anger, toxicity, addiction, once that shit took over, Thank Moses, the universe came in and was like, all right, now everybody sit down. 
<laughs> oh man. That's like Phoebe on Friends with Monica and Rachel are fighting. She was like, all right, now I'm going to kick some ass. <laughs> yeah, it was almost like, yes, you try to work with them to see if, okay, can we work it out? Can it work it out? And they still going at it. And then all of a sudden it's like, listen, enough of this shit. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like you took that approach. Enough of this shit. <laughs> all right, let me get out this reading. I'm having too much fun. Happiness is my birthright. You got some sort of celebration coming in. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. We don't have the Three of Wands with Three of Cups. So you got three threes, which is nine, which is fulfillment, right? It's completion. Uh, true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. I'm telling you, Scorpio, somebody either triggered the out of you or you triggered the out of somebody else. I think I'm over my curse limit. <laughs> my angel said, fuck that curse. <laughs> Punctuate the energy. All right. Don't give me permission to curse. <laughs> I recognize that I have chosen fear. I choose again. I choose love. Yep. Fear was taking a dump on this situation, Scorpio, but it ain't no more. You were sitting here with this little red devil over your relationship or connection. Now, baby, once you return to right side up, you have the blessing of the universe. We gonna pull these swords out your back. We gonna get you a new car and send you on a trip and, and you just gonna be happy. Ooh, child, strength. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to shuffle? cut all right the key to prayer is to forget what what i think i need i love that that's one of my favorite cards the key to prayer is to forget what i think i need that just basically means pray about it and go on about your life right uh praying making a wish setting an intention manifesting all the same thing all right scorpio scorpio I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I need to schedule our January Scorpio hangout. So I guess maybe in my next video, I'll announce that. But Scorpio, if it resonated, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.